guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. Welcome back to my channel. So I do a lot of tap videos uh, on this channel. And today I wanna to talk about why I prefer tapping in heels over tap flats. Now, there's a time and a place for everything. Um, you should get used to tapping in both heels and flats. Um, there's times to tap in heels, especially if you're gonna be in musical theater, and sometimes you have to be uh, tapping in a flat tap shoe, depending on the show. Um, but, and there's all different kinds of taps. Um, and more of a flat tap shoe is for rhythm tap. I've said that before in various videos. But why I prefer a heel, if I can get away with it, um, is because at a very young age, when I started taking tap, um, I was trained in a musical theater academy and they just started us off in heels, in character shoes with taps. And the the train of thought was, you're in musical theater, you're gonna be doing show tap, and so you might as well just get used to it. So all my foundation of tap uh, from the get-go, all the basics, that's how I learned it, in heels. I never learned tap in a flat tap to begin with. And I think in today's, um, modern thought, a lot of people just start taking tap in a flat tap shoe and get very comfortable and very used to tapping in flat taps, which is fine. But I really do believe if you're going to be in musical theater, at some point you need to start training yourself to switch sometimes to a heel because the balance is so different between a flat and a heel. Um, especially if you know you're going to do, you know, very glitzy shows like Anything Goes or Crazy For You or 42nd Street. Because eventually when you do that show, you're going to end up in a heel. Um, I know a few years ago when I choreographed uh, a production of Thoroughly Modern Millie for a high school, uh, Thoroughly Modern Millie is is a show where it's it's the numbers are very splashy, and on Broadway the women wore heels, and so the girls that were cast um, balked at the idea of wearing heels. They all the girls trained, competed, um, took classes in flats, and I wanted them in heels. And the director said, well, no, if they're used to tapping in flats, just let them wear flats for the show. Um, I got kind of irritated, but I was like, well, if you can't beat them, join them. And so I went out for the first time and bought tap flats because I thought, well, I want to get the style and the sound of how they're going to look absolutely hated it. I felt clunky. I felt awkward um, for show tap. Um, I didn't like it, but I mean, I, I wanted to be true to what they were going to look and sound like. Um, <laughs> had I been the director, those girls would have been forced to tap in heels because I just think that was more the style and the genre of the show. And I'd been like, learn something new, you know, because this is show business and you would have had to learn to tap in heels anyway. But I I didn't win that fight. So anyway, um, but that's what I'm saying. You know, you're not always going to get the luxury of, you know, putting your foot down with a director or choreographer and saying, no, I want to keep my flat shoes. So, you know, learn learn to uh, go back and forth. There's nothing wrong in learning to be versatile and flexible and saying, yeah, I can do both. I can tap in heels and I can tap in flats. Um, because along the way in, in my career, um, I was given curveballs. I sometimes had to do, you know, a show in boots or tennis shoes or, you know, it's not that I had never tapped in any other shoe other than a heel. It's just I always preferred to look up and bouncier in heels. Um, and I just don't like flats for me. I, I feel clunkier. But it's not that I can't do it. I just don't like to do it. So anyway, there are some thoughts on, uh, on my why I like to look um, or why I like to tap in heels. Um, I just think it looks lighter and bouncier, especially for show tap.
there you go. Um, subscribe to my channel, check out all my other videos, and I'll see you in the next.